We're at the UFC uh, Fan Expo at the MMA Authority booth and of course here with Nate Rock Quarry. Uh, how's it feel being part of this uh, experience? Looking good as you do oh, wearing that sport and that nice little uh, t-shirt. Oh, uh, how, how's it feel right now? Uh, it's incredible, man. Canada, I gotta say, they always love me. Because yeah. I come here, I put on a show, even when I'm fighting Canadians. My goal is to make them cheer for me at the end of the day and so far that's what they've been doing. And they're coming out, showing their support, showing their love. I'm pimping out my zombie cage fighter brand. My own personal thing, I'm not sponsored by anybody with this, this is my baby. So it's really cool to see that come to life and see the fans get excited about it. I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Uh, what fighter on this card and what fight is gonna meet the, the rock standard, the Nate Quarry standard? You know all these guys are gonna come out banging, but who's gonna put on the best show and live up to like a Nate Quarry like expectations? Jeez, so you're talking about somebody that's not smart enough to know when to quit. <laughs> Uh, you know, Randy Couture always puts on a phenomenal show. His fight with Noguera, every fight that he's in, you know it's going to be exciting. He's always going to come in in shape. He's got a very tough task ahead of him with Machida, but that's going to be, that should be a great fight, especially for Randy. All right, and one question we're asking everybody, so uh, uh, the, in terms of our rush, our gold rush challenge, if you will, uh, who, what happens between Jake Shields and George St. Pierre? Two things, does Jake Shields actually went around and break the streak that George St. Pierre is on, and can he go that extra step and actually take the gold from St. Pierre? I think he's gonna have a really hard hard time in front of him. Uh, George St. Pierre is such a complete fighter. Uh, he showed against Koscheck, he's got powerful strikes, knocking out Matt Hughes, brutal ground and pound. We haven't seen any of that from Jake Shields. He's got phenomenal takedowns, he's got great submissions, but he just doesn't have the punching power. He's not the complete package as far as that. He'll grind out a win against someone like Dan Henderson, which is very tough to do, very, very tough guy in Henderson. But you see GSP go in there and stop Matt Hughes and, and bust up uh, Koscheck. I think uh, I think GSP is going to take the night. All right, last question for those people that are loving this shirt, wanting to find out where they can get more zombie wear, if you will. Where do people hook it up? Zombiecagefighter.com. All right. Yep. I appreciate the time. Awesome, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you.